Hello, I'm Lork, and most if not all, playing Plants vs Zombies, plant plants mainly at the beginning in the first rows, but what if you prohibit yourself from planting plants in the first 4 rows, would it then be possible to go through the adventure, and mini games, puzzles and survival? In this video I will try to find out, enjoy watching. The first level so far everything is easy, it can't be any other way. Sunflower, oh, but with you it will already be difficult. Where should I put you? By the way, this challenge reminds me of the levels from the second part, where there is this mold on the first rows, I remember it really pissed me off that I couldn't put on the front rows because of it. And here so the whole game has to go. Aha, here comes the cherry bomb, with its help if everything goes bad, we will get to the third cell. A zombie appeared in the cone, and here's the problem, I think we can use a cherry bomb to solve it too, boom, and that's it. Walnut, probably this irreplaceable plant will be in this challenge. Level 1.4, and that's the whole field opened. Maybe it's good, maybe not, I don't even know. Probably good, because we have more space and lawn mowers. Damn, that's how it happened? By the way, this is probably how the arrangement of plants in this challenge will look like. There are two rows of sunflower, a nut on the last cell, and two rows of attacking plants. It seems that the tactics are not bad. Shovel, great. Now we will be able to gradually replace sunflowers with other attacking plants. Dave, I don't want to take them out. They're just in their cells. If they had been on the first four, there are no questions, I would have removed them, and so. Oh, I don't know how we're supposed to play with this challenge. Since we can't throw them from the fifth square, let's try to keep the zombies off the fourth square. Phew, that last zombie almost ruined the game. Level 1.6 Here comes the problem. A zombie with a pole is definitely an unsuitable zombie for this challenge. It's good, that it turned out to go through, and get what is right necessary in this video and snow pea. Its deceleration is needed more than ever. Level 1.7 Although there were as many as two waves in it, but with with the ice pea shooter, it was even easier than the last level. Chopper, but by the way you'll be useful to us, because a buckethead zombie showed up. Um. And that's it, he's gone. Ye, double pea shooter. As a space saver, that would be a great solution for us. Level 1.9 And it was already a little tricky, there were constantly zombies with a pole, that kept eating chompers, but there were no more problems and we moved on to level 1.10, which was easier. Puff shroom here comes the night. No. No. I had completely forgotten that there are graves here. This is going to be very disturbing. It's like a walnuts on the zombie side. Now that was really hard. Level 2.2. Are you kidding me? What a buckethead zombie. If it wasn't for the cherry and potato mine, I have no idea how I would have passed the level. Well, Thanks again to mine. The graves meanwhile, are getting closer and more of them. Yeah 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 come on I want the 7th slot. It's vital now, it will give us a place to take the grave buster. Level 2.4. It has become much easier without graves, it pleases. Level 2.5. Mm. The grave is on the 4th cell, and what should I do? We don't have the right to plant a grave buster there, but probably to hit a zombie too. Although, I think it does not go beyond the challenge. Level 2.6. Oh, hi. I've got some bad news for you, because in this challenge we can use anything from plants, so we have lots of ways to destroy you. I preferred to take a hypno mushroom, in the first part this is the best use of it no matter how. But what should I do with them? What? How did it explode? Apparently a bug. Well, it's unlikely that I can handle them. So thank you, lawnmower. And this is probably the most useless plant in this challenge. I hope I don't need to explain why. Level 2.7 Screen door zombie A football player, and also a lot of graves. While I have nothing to say, you can see everything for yourself. This one will be much easier. Yo, Doom Shroom. On the next level I think we have nothing to fear. You know, maybe it wasn't the best option. Minus one cell, and we don't have a lot of cells. Level 2.10 Just an explosion on an explosion. Lily pad, moving to the pool location, in which by the way, we have one more row of space, which is very good. Level 3.4 Keys to Dave's car. I'd probably buy a water mower, but I probably won't. In this walkthrough I will try to go through without them, but I promise nothing. Another minigame. And in fact, with such a restriction, I thought it would be very difficult, but it turned out not. 5 cells is quite enough. True in the end because of the new restriction, everything could have turned out badly, but cherry bomb saved. Zombies coming out of the water will be a real problem. Zomboni, thanks squash. Well as I thought, these zombies ruin everything. That's the problem with going through without a water mower. Why did I just put this restriction on myself? Maybe the 8th slot will help with that misunderstanding? 
just a place for a chomper will appear, which I had completely forgotten about, chompers really good against zombies. Phew, level 3.8, oh, dolphin rider, well, where are you going, huh, and he's even worse than I thought, as it turns out, when he appears, he jumps over one cell, and then another one on the dolphin, I hope you understand, and in order not to lose, you have to do these machinations, there's nuts, there's lily pads so there's something to jump over, and another there's nuts, next level, damn, really, why did I give them up, somehow, with difficulty, I got through the level, the last level at the location of the pool, and here it is already quite easy, true much to my regret, for some reason recorded I have only half of the level, but please believe me, I passed it on the first try. And so, we found ourselves on the location of the fog, probably the most interesting location in this walkthrough, after all in the first levels, plants will have to be put so to speak blindly. Although, the first three cells are visible, I think we do not need more, thank for not blowing up the mushroom, tada, here's the plantern. In this challenge it will obviously be useful to us, but if the fog was not approaching, we could pass without it. The only thing is to make sure that the plantern is not eaten. The problem is still the same, and even more so when a football zombie runs in the row where he stands. Only the doom shroom saves. Cactus, will we need it? Well, I don't know, I almost didn't have time to place it, and there were only two balloon zombies for the entire level. Level 4.4, there will be more balloon zombie in it already, plus they appeared. Well, yeah, if it wasn't for the cactus, I wouldn't be able to cope with this level right now, however, I never managed, only managed to get through on my 6th attempt, even we had to take a blover, vase breaker, lol, lots of space to put plants, and even more so here, if it wasn't for the squash and lawnmowers, I don't know what I was doing, starfruit, and I'm surprised, even in this challenge it is useful, probably many will argue, but as for me, this is the most useful attacking plants given its price. Level 4.9 is a more complicated version of level 4.4, also had to suffer with tactics because of my stupid idea to complicate this challenge. The last level at this stage, well, it's easy, you just put everything in a row, reinforce it with a pumpkin and you won't even notice how the level will already be past, the roof, and you know guys, something's bothering me, oh, phew, I thought pots would only be in the first 4 rows, good thing I decided not to put a limit on the first 5 cells. As you can see, it would be impossible, and so everything is fine, pumpkin in this challenge, and especially in this level, is just fine. Level 5.2, well you know what, without these pieces, trash mowers, this challenge is unlikely to pass, so apparently, in vain I didn't buy water mowers. The idea saving of these purchases before repassing were unsuccessful, a football player and a ladder zombie. You can't think of worse opponents, but the tactics with the ice pea shooter and the star fruit worked perfectly. Level 5.5, and what to do, it seems like these bungee zombies sometimes drop zombies on this line. Phew, the choppers at least eat them, then it's not so bad. Oh, and they stole my cherry, of course I'm lucky, it was difficult, but I managed. Catapult car, hello, there's plenty of targets for you, three whole rows of pots, shoot as many as you want. Level 5.8, Gargantua, here we need a squash and a cherry bomb. And to get rid of the imp, the starfruit will help. Sounds like the perfect tactic to me. Level 5.9, here I decided to take watermelons obtained in the last level. But the idea was so-so, they cost a lot and in the end there were no sons to buy the same cherry for Gargantua. And finally, boss, I've been waiting for this, I was very interested in what would come out of it, and it didn't turn out as easy as I thought. We have a minus one cell at once, because the boss is standing on it, nothing can be planted there. And you could say minus one more square because the boss puts zombies there. It turns out that we have only three cells at our disposal, which makes the level quite difficult, if not impossible. But even so, I figured out how to simplify its passage. We use all, but one lawnmower. Now, as you know, the boss will spawn all the zombies on one row, and calmly put flower pots with catapults on other rows, so on all but one row we have 4 cells at our disposal, and all he can do with these catapults, is step on, throw a van, or launch a ball. It's unpleasant of course, but the game will give us the catapults and flower pots again, so it's okay. Thanks to this, the level became from difficult, easy, well, past the adventure, as we see without putting plants on the first 4 cells, it is possible. Now, I think it's worth checking this out in the mini-games. The first mini-game is Zombotony. In it, this complication does not play a role, it was as easy, and remains so. The second mini-game, mm. Bullying.
This mini game directly laughs at this challenge, so I'm going to suggest, the same thing I did in part 1, trying to keep the zombies out until the 4th square. You know, the truth is, it's very difficult, and probably even impossible, lawnmowers at the end are just necessary. But let's not talk about the bad, because in this minigame we could not implement the idea of a challenge anyway. The next minigame is a slot machine. Difficulty as such it did not cause, but it's still frustrating when the plants fall out and there's nowhere to put them. Rain of plants, and garlic by the way is quite useful here. Yeah, but that's probably what ruined this attempt, and everything started out so well. But the next attempt is a straight line of luck. We were given hypno shroom, lots of explosive plants, lots of pumpkins, and good attacking plants. And all would be fine, but even here the football zombie ruined, it makes me both funny and sad. Well, let's try again. And you won't believe it, we're even luckier. We were given a lot of pea shooters and torchwood. And along the way there are walnuts and explosive plants, this still allowed us to cope with football zombies. The fifth mini game in a row, and it's pretty simple, even though half the plants we have disappear instantly, but reroll helps with that. In Ghoul, quite difficult in itself and even more so with this challenge, but even so, maybe I will be able to pass it? <laughs> After many attempts to pass it, it did not work out. Although I thought that I would succeed, well probably what prevented the passage. These are zombies with a bucket, Zomboni and Dolphin Rider. Yes, as it turns out they are here too. The next minigame is seeing stars. Well, you guys know the challenge here, but what we can collect, let's collect for fun. Half a star, I agree, doesn't look good. Oh, I have an idea. If you transfer this drawing, then it will almost be possible to assemble it completely. The zombies get in the way from here, but if you add more here, here and here, the plan will come out. Zombie Aquarium. Of course there are no cells here, but if you imagine that they are, then it turns out that we can feed the zombies only in this part, which is not difficult at all. We can finish this game, but let's do something for fun. Let's buy a snorkel zombie, a lot of snorkel zombie. And now, well, it looks cool, huh? Come on, last one and I'm buying the cup, ah, uh, but that's not fair, now it's all over again, damn, everything, be good twist, in principle, it is almost no different, only in a row now you need collect with this circle of plans, the 10th mini game is big zombie little trouble, there is also it in level 3.5, which we passed with ease, so here, everything is easy, portal combat, uh oh, I feel it will be very difficult, but it's definitely worth trying, no, I don't believe that's possible. For the entire level, no one has ever entered the portal. I must have been very lucky. I've always liked the mechanic of this minigame, putting it in a row at once. Well, it's even cooler for us that it's not difficult in this challenge. Although it still came out to pass only on the second attempt. Jalapeno in such critical moments is very saving. Bob Sled Bonanza. Mm. You're definitely kidding. I never thought that half, half of the damn cell could ruin everything. But as you can see, it can. It's a sad that it can't be passed like that. Mini game zombie nimble zombie quick. Oh, for an hour I tried to pass it, because not only are zombies fast, let me remind you that we can only put on the last 5 cells, and therefore it was necessary to react instantly, especially with dolphins. It's good that we still managed to pass it. Mini game whack a zombie, and look at the joke that I noticed, there is a chance that the grave may not be lit on the 4th row, and after rolling a little, 3 to 4 times like that, we got this chance, but, do not forget that the graves here spawn periodically, so I still had to beat these zombies where they are, but I don't think this is some kind of violation. Last stand, and here I had to play with tactics normally, there was something like this, and this, and even this, but the best option turned out to be to put a columns of melon pulp, 4 gloom shroom, several star fruit for underwater inhabitants and nuts for a football zombie. Zombotania 2, in truth is even somewhat easier than the first one. After all just by planting a few cattail, this will already be enough. By the way did you notice a trick? Pool, the last wave, but something is missing here. That's right, zombies don't come out of the water here. But it's a pity, bowling 2, there is already a new kind of ball, a huge nut. So I tried to complete the level without letting the zombies get to the fourth cell, but agree it would be strange if it had worked. But I did not, at the end. Still can't do without the help of lawn mowers. Mini game pogo party. I wanted to go through it in an unusual way. Will it work like this? Oh, it works. But I'll tell you, it was quite difficult to pass this way. I had to pay for my desire, with a lot of attempts. Well, the last mini game is the Dr. Zomboss's revenge. I hope you remember our brilliant plan to beat the boss with this challenge. And everything is really easy with him. Works with a bang. That seems to be it. There are no more mini games left.
So let's move on to survival. Well the very first survival takes place, oddly enough at the very first and easiest location, day. Actually, it will help us decide what to do in the next survival. Everything seems to be perfect and even corn cannons can be shoved in if you want. I'm loving it. Survival at night, you know, some kind of abrupt transition from easy to difficult, and also the graves from which zombies climb out. Fortunately there is such a miracle as the doom shroom. It's probably hard to count how many times he helped me out. Well, the tactics of playing through the gloom shroom and spike rock are excellent. By the way, gloom shroom can be planted on all levels like this in one row. Pool. Actually in the pool as you know there is water. The lily pad and put cattail on them, which will shoot all over the map and even behind himself. The only thing you need to put pumpkins on them right away. Otherwise at the end of the level they will be eaten by zombie submariners as you can see. So they will also reach the end. Oh. All star zombie well I guess we don't have to be afraid of you. Now I'm going to install a gloom shroom and everything will be fine. But zombies with a pole can do a ruin. Actually, I put out almost everything I could and wanted. The tactics are perfect for me. In addition instead of sunflowers. You can also put up cob cannons. But there is no time for that anymore. Survival fog. As you can see, almost everything where we can put in the fog, here we need a plantern. By the way, see how it is more rational to put it, otherwise I noticed that many people put it approximately in these cells, this is not correct, at times to put it on the pool, on top of his line, so you can see almost everything, and where there is still fog, still see the heads of zombies. In the first wave immediately minus the lawnmower, it's very bad, immediately need to put the cattail, it's much easier with him. Ah, where are so many zombies rushing to? Again if not the doom shroom, I don't know what to do. Although I probably have no idea what I'm doing with him yet. Oh, how I still don't like conehead zombie. In a lot of situations where you can use a magnet, he's the worst, because he's actually the strongest then, and in addition goes often. Well, I do not know. Then let's try to take a starfruit. Hmm. And we haven't even had time to plant it much. We definitely need to change something in tactics, the next zombie getting out of the water will definitely pass. Damn. I forgot to take the plantern. They ate it. Okay, we'll manage this way. And two gloom shrooms are great have been solved so that need to be planted more. More gloom shrooms, at least we pass with them. Aha, balloon zombie and digger zombie. For these two instances, the cattail is ideally suited, and in everything. Uh oh. Well, okay, another ladder zombie. But where are you going, huh? He's going to crush everything for us now. Blow up so blow up, let's take two of these coolies at once. What was I worried about? In the end, only this one, and this one went one at a time. I already thought that we 100% lost, but it turned out the opposite. Survival fog, passed. The roof, and here we have to think of something. Planting melon pulps in the beginning is not the best option. Well what then? Well, as we understand, the gloom shroom are doing fine. Let's try to use them here too. Columns fume shroom I managed to somehow put, but it is unlikely that they will save us even from a conehead zombie, much less from him. Although I have an idea, I almost or rather, never took garlic when playing, but here it can be useful to us. I hope you have caught the essence. And it works just fine. Oh, yeah? Let's maybe put star fruit then, it will be kind of better with them. And now you can start planting gloom shroom, what what, but they are very good against football zombies. Minus 3 twin sunflowers. It's a shame but spawn zombies on this wave at least pleases. No 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 well it's some kind of nonsense. It was going so well. Why was it necessary to throw it here out of all 5 rows? I'm lucky, of course. Phew, now we haven't lost a single lawnmower in the beginning. Now the main thing is to do everything right. Well, okay, on the third wave, so be it. You can deprive me of a lawnmower. Anyway, we have planted quite a lot of these mushrooms. In fact, if you do everything right, then there is nothing complicated. The first survival heart, I think it's worth just repeating the tactics that we used in ordinary survival and maybe improve it somehow, it's easy to say, but in practice, also okay, also, last time we put watermelons on this line, and now I think the best option would be mushrooms, I'm sure this is more than enough to pass. Well, the cob cannons definitely need to be installed, this is probably the best tactic with this challenge, if this is not the case, then write what you think will be better, the night is hard. Oh Buckethead Zombie is still a problem for us. But two Gloom Shrooms and the problem is solved. And then in principle, everything is easy. The tactics look like in past survival. The only factor that pissed me off was why, all of a sudden if everything is planted, the graves will spawn where the plants are, and thereby destroying them. Well, next we have a pool, Cattail works wonders, and it's very easy to planting everything you need. The easiest survival heart. Fog. 
Here I already think we won't be able to plant everything we need quickly, so we definitely need a magnet shroom for zombies with a bucket. Damn, what a catapult car. I hope what I'm thinking doesn't happen. No, well, that's no comment. How many catapult zombies have broken us? Again, also a pile vaulting zombie. Probably we will lose here. Random is definitely not on our side. Wow, how we survived I have no idea. Zomboni and balloon zombies. Is this a joke on me? I take two doom shrooms and hope only for them. Phew, honestly didn't understand how we lived. But we survived, and the most difficult thing remained, the roof. We survived the first two waves, already something. Hmm, is this really going to be easy? Although pole vaulting zombie, yes, what a ruiner he is, and even more so on the roof with this challenge. Ha, the gloom shroom are dragging as always. No, well, no. Stupid catapult zombies, have always considered them relatively easy, but now I just hate them. It's okay in the past locations, you can put spikeweed, but here what to do with them? Oh, it's probably the game took pity on us and gave us the opportunity to build defense as I understand it. Oh, Zomboni, Doom Shroom, I adore you, it's the best plant in Plants vs Zombies, and even more so in this challenge. Lol, in the last waves you decided to release a football zombie, it's funny. Well, we've been through all the survival, it wasn't easy, but it was possible, which is already pleasing. And the last thing left is the puzzle tap, let's start with the vase breaker. A, where we were supposed to put according to the idea, these are the first four cells, which does not suit us in any way, well, let's try at our own risk to break it down and plant it right away. Although, that I was worried, there are a lot of squashes on this level. They decided everything, whoa, vases where we can't even put, so to speak one row moved, and to tell the truth, it's even good, because we were given an inverted pea shooter. I feel this is our savior in this challenge. Oops. I didn't have time to put a wall nut. What is this nonsense calls buckethead zombie? Can you spawn away from the entrance to my house? For example, somewhere, here. Thanks. Ah, two peas was not enough. I think many people lost when they wanted to quickly go through the vase breaker breaking everything. But it doesn't work. Still this is not the kind of mini game where you need to hurry. In calmly, on the 15th attempt somewhere, we passed. The third level and it has one more row of vases. Somehow this is very not very I think. Also this disco zombie. Well, well, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. One shot wasn't enough, seriously? The perfect attempt has now occurred. The next level, and it's times easier than the last one, and another one we passed the first time. Lucky lucky, scary potter. All I can say is, if you suffer long enough, you'll get something. Lol. Again a white streak in the form of two levels, yeah even three, gargantua was not such a big problem. Truth be told playing vase breaker was fun, you can also try the endless mode, although, nope, not a good idea. Next up is, I zombie, and here you'll say, cool mini game for this challenge, because on the first four cells of the plant, it is obvious that it will be very easy, so there is no point in watching, but take your time, to make it harder and more interesting, we have the cells we're allowed, won't use the first four. There are three cells in these levels, and thus we will have one single last cell, we will, so to speak, according to the canon of PVZ launch zombies, and what came of this see for yourself. I wouldn't say that it was difficult, but I had to think where and what kind of zombies to put, and it turns out, if you do not take into account the mini games, in which according to the idea you cannot bet on the first four cells, then we have all passed. So we have the right to believe that we have received a golden sunflower. I hope you liked the video, thank you so much for such great activity under the last video, and well, bye to everyone.